nice afternoon. Yeah, you're going to head out, uh, head to the park or whatever, or South by Southwest, whatever's happening out there. The weather looks good, sunshine at the moment. We've got uh, beautiful skies out uh, across many parts of our viewing area as the sun's burning through the cloud cover. Take a look at Lake uh, Travis. Beautiful out there. This, of course, from Steiner Road Steakhouse. These folks are kind enough to let us put a live camera up there. Let us even tap into their internet and get you a live signal there uh, as we go through the day today. Sunshine is going to warm us to the 70s. We're now at 63. Uh, just an hour ago we had the clouds and well temperatures were sitting in the upper and mid 50s but things have changed. No rainfall. We'd love to see some significant numbers show up there. There's a chance for rain coming up Monday but between now and then Morning clouds, maybe a little light mist here and there. Afternoon sunshine is about all we're going to see, which really, if you're going to have spring break, let's do it right. And so far, Mother Nature is doing it right. Now, 57 degrees, cloud cover locally. Winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour. Humidity, 49%. So far, looking pretty good as uh, the days go by. Weather just really is cooperating nicely with us. If you have been watching, a lot of folks are watching what's happening in Japan. You're thinking tsunami, okay, that was one thing. The deaths, that's another terrible thing. And now they're talking about radiation. Check out the weather blog at kxan.com. Click on the weather tab. It's the last option there. I updated it with some information out there, including, and I was going to show this. I didn't have it loaded up but uh, because I have the Lake uh, Travis image up there instead. But I have uh, a blog on there. If you saw that graphic going around that shows uh, radiation fallout and how it stretches to the U.S., it's fake. I've got uh, two images from it on there. You can take a look at it as well. It, uh, it's a good read. I've uh, written quite a bit on it. I apologize if it's too long for you, but there's a lot of in-depth uh, depth, in depth information in there as well. 50s across the area, 64 in LaGrange, 63 in San Marcos, 63 in Llano. At this morning, just right at that point where we thought maybe somebody might hit freezing, but they didn't. 34 out at the airport, got to 36 in Fredericksburg, 37 in Llano, a little warmer, 38 in Lampasas, or less cold, 38 in Lampasas, 37 in San Saba, 39 in Giddings, 43 in LaGrange, and 43 in Lockhart. So some places were getting pretty close to freezing. This is the time of the year when everybody asks, if, asks, us, asks us if we've had that last freeze, and this is the time of the year when we say, well, we're not really sure. And that's because we have mornings like this where some folks get really close to it. Pant plants don't have to be right at freezing. Sometimes those plants can be really threatened by temperatures that are uh, at 34 degrees or 36. So still want to keep a real close view of what's happening out there temperature-wise. Not so much for the rest of the week. I think we're fine for the rest of the week, just in case we get another little cold snap uh, next week with that next little system coming in on Monday. Be something to watch out for. And it's also, it depends on where you live. Somewhere out in the hill country, maybe a little colder. Uh, for us, though, overall, all state of Texas looking good for the afternoon. A little bit of cloud cover starting to break up. It's a thin layer of clouds, so the sun's going to be able to burn through it. We don't really have anything coming our way over the next several days, so what we will see is quite a bit of moisture coming in from the southeast, and we'll have morning cloud cover and maybe a little bit of light mist, maybe a little bit of fog in some areas down on the coast, but sunshine in the afternoon. Our forecast model leaning on that cloud cover, and I think it did a good job of picking that up during the day today. Tomorrow morning, it's trying to pick up a little bit of moisture. Look at that. Maybe a little light mist falling across the area. That for tomorrow morning, and we'll see more of that over the next several days. So, 74 for the high today. Tonight, temperatures down to the 50s. Our seven-day forecast, spring break forecast, south by southwest forecast, looking good. 74 today. Morning low tomorrow, 53, which means some upper 40s in outlying areas. 76 degrees for the high then. 80 on Thursday. After that, maybe a touch warmer, 83 on Friday, 82 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday. And then, when everybody's done with spring break, at least most folks, 30% chance for rain returning on Monday.